All right, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to start implementing our update route for our blogs, right? And we'll do that really quickly and really simply because there's not a lot of logic, but there are a lot of new concepts, right? The code will not be a lot, but the concepts will be um, new. Great. So um, this is basically the route that we had made for our edit. And now that I see that we have a lot of routes here, let's just first put some comments here, right? So this will be index out this will be um, new route this will be this will be show route and i'm giving the restful names here and you can see right this will be the edit route and this will be the create route so the post route is called as create and the new route is the, the get route is called as new right all right, and this is the middleware. Great. So we have some comments here, and let's now just make our put route. So um, actually calling the put route from this form requires us to use some more syntax and actually one more package. So we'll do that in the end of this video. First, we'll just make the put route, and then we'll do the calling from the form, right? So uh, as a put route, you have to do router.put um, because whatever the HTTP verb is, you have to do router dot that particular word only, right? Then we give slash blog slash colon ID according to our RESTful convention, right? Then we have rec res. And the only thing that we need to do in here actually is blog dot. So there's this one function that mongoose gives us is find by id and update right so we can select this and right and then we can um so first of all um this this takes a good amount of arguments so what we have to do in here is first we have to give the id that we are aiming to find so this function will basically find the thing for us and it will update the thing for us too and we won't have to do anything after that right so we have to do reg.params.id um, and this will find the thing so now to update we actually need to give um the object that we need the that we need like the new object the updated thing we need to give in here right so we'll have need to have access to that and for that we need access to all the inputs that we have got here right and for that we are going to need this name right so we already have a name of title and a name of content and a name of image so we could actually work with this this is not a problem and we could just simply give rec dot body right and this would work but i want to actually show you a new thing and this is probably that something that we should have done in the whole code but I didn't want to introduce this earlier, so that's why. So what we can basically do is we can do blog title. I'm just writing the syntax first and then I'll explain it. This becomes blog content and this becomes blog image. So now what will happen is instead of three separate fields, there will be a variable by the name of, there will be an object by the name of blog and we can use a um, new blog because blog is already there and I, I just like to do this so now inside the rec.body object in here right there will be a new blog object which will have these three fields and they will be contained inside this very object only and we won't have to access all three of them separately right so this is something we can do so we can just do rec dot body dot new blog, right? So this is what uh, the this thing will now be set to, and then we just need to do error. Update it. And then we'll just do this. Um, so the first thing like always if error console.log error 
address dot redirect um, slash blog slash colon id right and this will be a get request and if there is not an error so first of all this needs to be returned and if no error then we need to do res dot redirect slash blogs slash colon id so we'll actually redirect this to slash blog slash id slash edit to keep a difference right and redirect slash blog slash colon id great so now our uh, our put route is actually completely made we don't need to do anything in this but the thing is we need to call this from the form and that requires some effort right so um that would not require effort if html actually supported put routes right so it's not that it does not support all the routes that we use are actually supported by html but the thing is that the html forms currently they only support get routes and post routes right and that is actually a problem and that's been um, everybody says why that is I, there's no proper explanation i think but it is the fact that get and post are the only kind of methods that are supported in this by default right so we actually need to install a package that will help us um call this route as a put request right and one more thing before we start that we have made this as a put request but you will see that there's no really big error in here really big difference in here from a post request right so what i want to tell you is this could also be a post and there is no problem at all in making it a post the only thing is that i am we are following the restful convention and i want to follow the restful convention completely otherwise even if i made this a post and i made the method post here and i did action of this so first of all i'd have to change the url because this url as a post is already present right um no this is not present so we we could work even without changing the url right so slash blog slash id as a action and method as post in here would work really easily if this was a post request but again just we are following the restful convention and hence we are going to use put right great so um what we need to actually do to now make a put request through a form is we need to install a new package known as method override so right so i'll break out of my server and do npm i dash s method override right so um this is how you spell it with a dash in between right and as we can install it now let's wait for it to get installed and it does get installed right excellent so um now uh, let's let's first require it i'm not sure where it will fit in please we'll see so first of all we'll have to inquire require it um, not inquire require method over and let's move this down until this reaches its place great so method override has now been uh, required in our application excellent and i just noticed that this passport local mongoose is declared but value is never used in here so we could like leave this behind i think and this would still work okay so anyway um method override is now been required in our app.js and we just need to do one more line in here right and that will uh, configure our method override so app.use and i'm just going to write this line and i would explain it uh, right now but the thing is that you need to know just one more small thing before i can explain what this is so um, for that let's just first complete this action and method and then we'll come back and understand what this line means right excellent so um, basically what we need to do in here now so method is always going to be get or post it cannot be anything else right according to html so what method override lets us do is we can let the method remain post and in here we can call our url so slash blogs slash right um so not drag dot params blog dot underscore id right so this is currently a post request to the url that we had right and 
this is fine except the method needs to be put so what we can do after this is we can put a question mark and we can do underscore method is equal to put all right so what just happened so what we basically did was um we put this question mark and in any url whenever you put this question mark what happens is the url before this is actually called and everything after this is um basically known as a key value is basically a key value pair which you can pass as very small configuration settings like underscore method is equal to put so if if you send this request then this would know that under something known as underscore method was made as a put request was had the value of put it does not know why this is made it does not know the use of underscore method right on its own but um you could do something like and name is equal to a b c d so this way you would be passing the value a b c d inside name and this would not be in reg dot params this would be in something else but after this you are just simply giving values to things right and the url is only before this question mark so you can just put question mark anywhere and after that you can start giving your values and that would work perfectly fine right so this is the url that we have to make a request to so what this does is so first of all we have used this underscore method here right so what is this this is basically what we did in this line here we told the app to use underscore method from method override so we, we are telling it to expect this particular key in something and we are using that key here right so um, we are telling the underscore method is put meaning that when wherever we putting underscore method is equal to put or underscore method is equal to delete or anything then make this a put request right and the method we can let it be post because html allows us post right so that's basically all that method over override had to do and i'll move this in here and i'll do method override great so this way we have set up method override in our thing and now basically our update route should be set up so let's see if it is so i'll do node one here mongod is already running in the background i can refresh so i'll not do this blog this is too difficult to see a change i'll change this blog right so i'll go to slash edit so you can see currently the title is test post so i can do test post new and again you can update post all right so we ran into an error here which is a really silly error and that is this so basically we i had written underscore id here which does not make any sense i need to write record params dot id and that will work right and i'll do plus tech dot params dot id and now um if i go back and i refresh so actually the thing had been refreshed uh, you can see that it had been updated without any problem but um the redirect did not work because we were passing underscore id as the id and it was trying trying to find that in our blog so of course there is no blog with an id of underscore id like the three letters right so let's change this to new one and update post so now you can see it is changes to it is changed to a dash new dash one and i can do this slash edit again i can change this this is uh, updated content i can do update post and you can see it gets updated so our update route is now working perfectly fine and we could add a button down here that's the last thing we'll do in this video so this is basically in the show page let's open the show page up where is it so here are the views here are the blogs here's the show.ejs so just alongside this um this right so after this a tag i'm going to do um, another a tag which is btn btn warning right and it will be a slash slash blogs slash 
blog dot underscore id and then we'll also have another slash edit right so this is this will be the href for the a tag and the text will be update post let's see if this works we have a button here a yellow button so that's why i had the btn warning for it gives a yellow button right i can click on that and it takes me to the update page i can change that again i can do update it and i can go back and it gets updated right so our update post button is working great too now great excellent so that's basically all for this video and i'll see you in the next one